Oh, thank you. Just look, looking at all your faces. Wow. Uh, thank you, uh, BAFTA. I mean, for me, this is, this is really nothing short of a miracle. So when I first saw Ken Loach's Kez on a huge telly that was wheeled into my classroom, I was forever changed, forever. Because seeing poverty and people like me, my life and my family on the screen, I recognised myself. See, representation matters. In 2008, I directed my first film, The Unloved, and it was about faith, I believe in God, and it was hope and forgiveness. But as much as anything, it was what I wanted to tell little Sam. Homeless and cold, hungry and alone. But you'll have a family one day. And you'll have a life beyond what the government statistics have laid out for you. Because you matter. So don't give up. You see, the stories we tell, they, we, they actually they have the power to change people's lives. Film changed my life, it transformed me, and it led me here today. So I want to thank BAFTA for this extraordinary honour and for believing that my name is worthy to appear alongside past recipients. And this means more to me than they will ever know. But I've been helped along the way by some truly special people. I mean, far too many to list, but first and foremost, I want to thank the casting directors who believed in me enough to put me in front of some of the world's great directors and to those directors and the countless actors and amazing crews that I've had the privilege to work alongside, I thank you. And I must thank Nottingham, City of Nottingham, and the Nottingham Television Workshop, Nikki Van Gelder and Jenny Rawlings for all the years of unwavering support. My darling husband, Harry, and my incredible children, Esme, Edie and Teddy, for literally making my dreams come true. And I dedicate this award to every child in care today, or who's been in care, or is suffering, or who didn't survive. And as the amazing actress Chrissy Rock once told me, don't let the bastards grind you down. Thank you. <laughs>